We're checking out Zurich, Switzerland. Ooh, hey! The largest and wealthiest city in Switzerland, Zurich sits in the north of the country, just 15 miles from the German border. Unfolding around the northwest shore of Lake Zurich, this ancient city is also bisected by two rivers, the Limmat and the Sill, and surrounded by mountains, offering ample opportunities for adventure sports all year round. At its heart is the Altstadt, or Old Town, a picturesque web of cobblestone streets and alleyways containing everything from traditional guild houses and grand big name restaurants to cozy carefree cafes. Much of the medieval centre with its winding thoroughfares and tall church steeples has been kept lovingly intact. For first time visitors, the best way to get an overall flavour of the city is on two wheels, zipping in and out of its stone arteries and crisscrossing the bridges at its watery heart. Well-heeled, socially dynamic and swarming with style, Zurich is one of Europe's most livable cities. A place where people like to eat well, dress well and live well, embracing the natural elements around them, particularly the lake and the rivers, which become hydrous hives of activity during the warmer months. But it's not just about the Altstadt. Zurich is divided into 12 districts and the old town is just the beginning. To the west of the city centre, District 5, a former industrial area, is now crammed with contemporary art galleries, bohemian boutiques and quirky bars, like the legendary Frau Geralt's Garten, an adult playground filled with shipping containers, umbrellas and fairy lights that has become Zurich's favourite beer garden. And tucked away in District 5, you'll also find one of Zurich's best hidden adventures a little slice of Hawaii in the middle of the city. Hey! Switzerland might be a landlocked country, but if you know where to look in Zurich, they've got the only outdoor urban surf wave in the whole country. Is it, gonna, is it easier than, than surfing in the ocean? It's similar to, it's kind of different. You don't have to paddle, you don't have to take off actually. Yeah. Just stand up and focus on your balance. Okay. And the answer is, it is easier than surfing in the real ocean. No need to wait for a wave or put any effort into getting up on it. This is all of the thrills, even if you don't have any of the skills. I think the trick is to just look ahead. That was really invigorating. Absolutely superb little pocket of adrenaline in the middle of Zurich. Oh wow, do you see the way he dropped in? It would be remiss not to explore long, thin Lake Zurich while I'm in the city. But instead of one of the many boat tours, I take a more genteel approach to aquatic investigation, hiring a stand-up paddleboard and heading for the graceful medieval spires on the horizon. It's incredible that you can just paddle through the middle of this city, past all of these wonderful medieval buildings. And the water is so clear. People jump in at lunchtime for a swim. Very refreshing. One of the best things about Zurich is just a short drive outside the downtown area, you can find some incredible adventures. I'm here at one of the most popular tourist attractions in Switzerland, the Rhine Falls, which is the most powerful waterfall in the whole of Europe. So I've seen this in pictures before and always wanted to visit, but they don't do it justice. Being here, you can really experience the magnitude and the elemental force of this incredible waterfall. Just imagine coming down there in a kayak. It's absolutely insane. A lot of people come here for a morning or an afternoon to explore the waterfall, right? Yes, indeed. You can come here by car, by train, a bicycle, or even a motorbike. You motor can cycle bike. here from you Zurich. You can cycle, I guess, yes. So how far is up. it? It's about 30 miles. About one 30 miles, OK. Yeah. That's all right. Ooh. So if you're pretty fit, you can hire a bike and come out here. <laughs> you could, actually, yeah. if you're fit. Yeah, that's a good adventure. Let's be honest, fondue is fun in any situation at any time, but you can double the fun if you serve it in a tuk-tuk. And to travel through the streets of old Zurich, oh wow, racing around the corners with a bowl of hot fondue, fondue o'clock, and a bottle of cold wine right in front of you is a fantastic <laughs> way 
really get a flavour for the city, quite literally if you think about it. I'm here with Barbara from Zurich Tourism and she's going to teach me the dark and sticky arts of fondue. What is the best time of day to have fondue? I would say quite good right now. Yeah. Lunch time. Yeah. Because Digestion. That's it. The important thing is that you keep the bread on the fork. Right. Because if the bread is falling down, we normally say you have to pay the next round. Okay. So that means two glasses of white wine. There are plenty of cliches about the Swiss, but if there's one which is absolutely true, it's this. They love their cheese. If you want to join in, you just need to follow the rules. Firstly, never have a fondue when the weather's hot, unless you want to draw disapproving frowns. Secondly, drink only white wine or herbal tea with your fondue. And finally, the worst, most heinous crime is dropping your bread into it. Ah, ah, ah. Yellow card. <laughs> so what's that place? Oh, that's the best place to be, by chocolate. Oh, really? Very famous Springley. Maybe we'll get chocolate in here instead of cheese next time. Uh, that would be a chocolate fondue, then. <laughs> well, sounds good. Good dessert. Frost, thank you for a wonderful experience. Right, let's find something to ride. If the Swiss Alps seem tantalizingly close to Zurich on cloud-free days, it's because they are. And none more so than mighty Wetliberg, nicknamed the city's home mountain because it's so near that you can get to within touching distance of the summit in just 15 minutes on a commuter train. And what goes up must come down. The way I'm going down today is on a mountain bike with pro rider and local guide Tobias Maurer. So, what are we going to do today? Yeah, we're going to ride the Antenna Trail. It's kind of the most ridden and most well-known mountain bike trail within city limits of Zurich. I lived in, in Boulder, Colorado. You have to take your car and ride half an hour or even an hour to get to the trailhead. But here it's a lot quicker. Grab my bike, hop on it, ride through the town and uh, I'm in the woods. Whoa, hey, Tobias, what's this? That's a uh, wall ride. Uh, well, rather you than me. Can you show me how it's done? Yeah. Yes, no problem. Easy. You don't have to be an experienced expert biker like Tobias to enjoy the fun challenges, spectacular drops and breathtaking views on Wetliberg's two major mountain biking trails. Plenty of city workers come up here for a quick spin in their lunch hour or after work and enjoy just being out here on this ridiculously gorgeous forested mountain. The best thing is that you can ride these awesome trails all morning and then there's a superb spa right at the bottom. I'm going to head down there now. After a hard day's work, the movers and shakers of Zurich come here to this old brewery to let off some steam. The Hurlimann Bad and Spa used to produce beer by the crate load, but now it's a luxury water world set in a cavernous Roman-style cathedral of calm with its epic rooftop infinity pool gazing out across the Zurich skyline. Just what you need to steam those aching legs after a long day of mountain biking and before an adventurous night out on the town. For sundowners, I'm heading to Primitivo, a laid back, all welcoming, cool riverfront oasis fashioned from eight shipping containers. Are people diving off the side or what happened? Yeah, they do. There is a bridge and they jump in the river. Yeah. And they swim down the river yeah. and come to our place and, and take a drink. Yeah. That sounds like an awesome way to finish the day. <laughs> all right, cheers. cheers. Zurich has been an amazing experience picturesque lakeside city which persistently ranks among the happiest and most livable in the world. And you can see why. With its riverside bars, rooftop spas and adventure sports in spades, Switzerland's Yay! biggest town is the perfect blend of metropolitan flair and inner city adventure. <laughs> <laughs>